hi guys welcome back now today is going to be different all right today is story time like literally story time i'm going to be telling you a story of how a guy tried to catfish me yes he literally tried to catfish me and this all hung over the span of five to nine days because i find them out because i know some girl are not idiot i always say marvia owen never raised no idiot right so listen yo listen closely because it can get a little confusing right so you know I posted a pic on IG, I posted it to my story, and I was advertising a new video. Also, guys, check out all my other videos on my YouTube channel. Like them, share them, subscribe, comment, all of the above, right? So, I was promoting that video. I put it in my IG story, and then somebody slid into my DMs. Now, when he slid into my DMs, he sent me a video, right? And you know, on IG, once you play that video, once somebody sent you a video in their DMs where they use their camera and send you the video, that's it you can't play it again right so he sent me a video he was just like hey yo you're beautiful or something something like that and it was just like oh i'm pretty sure you don't want a stranger giving you compliments and i replied and i said thank you all right moving right along so i'm very busy right i'm very busy so he messaged me again but i never saw it until like look a bit afterwards he sent me his number now the number that he sent was an american number all right before we move there this is his profile right this is it right here that that's his name right that's his profile Ricaria scott or i still can't pronounce it and these are the, some of the pictures that he have up on his profile right it's a private profile i followed it and you know i got accepted i'll, I'll look through the pictures and i was like but the boy look nice like me not me not him look good so i said all right cool all right so he sent me his number i eventually messaged him now listen now your girl have two phone right Wanna video there's something here right now? I'ma have another Samsung phone. See the Samsung here. So when him asked me for my number, like honestly, I get a lot of DMs. A lot of people tell me they want to do tours. A lot of people tell me that you know, whatever the case might be, whether they want to look me or whatever, they just give them the number here. Sometimes it's easier if you just give people a number, get them a fake case, and other times they just tell them flat out no. So me give him the number. And you know, him, him message me and him tell me, so first thing I ask him, how you pronounce the name there? Cause first me I hear the name there. Him tell me, say, it's French and it's pronounced Rico. I don't know me can't pronounce it, but listen it for yourself and see if I catch it. Okay, so it's pronounced Rico, right? Or it's French. That he's, so in his bio on IG, he has up three flags, Puerto Rican, American, and Jamaican. He said that his mom is Puerto Rican and his dad's dad is Jamaican, but his dad's mom is French. Right, I tell you the box story, so pay attention, right? So that's how I'm gonna go with, right? When he sent me the voice note to pronounce his name, he has an American accent, right? So he said that he was born in Manchester, but he grew up in Miami and he came back here in like April or so for work. Now, when you go on his profile, right, the very first bit that he has is from like September 2020, right? Because this all of this happened the end of December, like the 23rd or the 24th of December. And it literally ended January 2nd or so because I just couldn't bother keep up with the foolishness because I knew from early on. Anyways, so you know, him did they message me and him this and him that and all of the above. Him tell me him say luxurious cars we are living, right? So I said, where did that? Him tell me say in Ochi. I'm setting it up in Ochi. It's not established. But what they're doing now is that they're building the warehouse where they're going to house the cars. And... He has to oversee the building of the warehouse because it's a family thing. And one time them did rob them did rob the they did rob the warehouse and them something there. So I'm like December 22nd or 23rd, right? So around Christmas time, I'm telling the same day I work and oh his older brother. Was supposed to come and relieve him, but they did. He didn't. So my older brother asked, tell him, say, must stay put. Him asked, send me screenshot of the older brother. I tell him, say, he must stay put. All right, cool. So, um, Christmas day, him say, did their work and him never did nothing. But then his dad, who apparently lives abroad, decided to fly down. And him never knows him father did a fly down, but him father fly down. And him father fly down now. He came and him surprised him. Not Christmas day, but Boxing day. He tell me, said I'm going to look for him little sister. And him little sister, I feel, not for his mom, but obviously for some other lady. I in Manchester. 
the him send me video where him going to the care with the father go look for the when them go look for the little sister mind you that video you see is a boomerang one so look out for them something because i don't know much right it's a boomerang when him send me the boomerang i remember they did that talk with my friend i said look on the boomerang you're looking at the background of the boomerang now one gas station but you make out a brick a brick that that not like a jamaica anyways it kind of fuzzy so it's a far stretch i said all right cool then he sent me I said, when you read, send me a picture of your little sister. He sent me pics of his him, him and the little girl. And I'm just like, all right, cool. He even so, went so far as to send me a video of the little girl. And in the video, the little girl was saying, TC. Now, him take it upon himself and make up nickname for me and call me Tick Chick or whatever. So, that's what he had the little girl say in the video. And listen for himself. Because even when he do this this time, I said, all right. I kind of stop for things say maybe he's a real guy and all that they look or something. Surprise! I kissed him. So one day now, I'm going to tell him to send him, him no picture. So I said, all right. I send you a picture. I send him a picture. I'm going to send him a picture. But how I take the pic now, I take it with my, with the phone in front of my face. So like, you know, you take a mirror selfie, you take it like this and whatever. Yeah. So I send it. So I say, Send me, you send me a picture now. Listen, I'm busy and I'm this and I'm that. And I all know I'm gonna get a picture, right? In terms of say when he's at work, he's at work and he can't stop for taking a picture and he can't stop and ask another worker to send a picture to him, for taking a picture of him. So I'm saying, I'll do that, just send me a selfie. Now, from the beginning, he told me that he has an Android and he's getting an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Must have next week, Wednesday or so, right? Now, his excuse for not sending the pic is that him not send me no low quality picture and Android of the worst quality. Mind you guys, all this iPhone versus Android something is BS. Android takes very, very, very good videos and good pictures and all of them stuff. But just recently got the iPhone and yeah, on have good quality, but Android ain't that bad. I'm missing some iPhone while do some video what don't look good just the way, same way, right? Anyways, I digress. So, in my head, I say, other day you could have sent me one video and you and your little sister what is very very clear but all of a sudden you can't send me one selfie like one full length picture of yourself he keeps sending me old pics now remember me telling him saying saying grew up in miami so the picture that him send me i always saw full length and you can see america and one next picture did i send me one selfie come and tell him to send me one picture of your smile come and listen if your teeth not still good me i can't talk me i can't get up me can't be me not, if me, if that me me vn me vn i just saw when I zoom in on the picture now, I say some brick in the background. So I don't mean to relay that to him. I said to him, I said, where did he take this pic? He said, man. I said, all right, cool. Good thing he said, man, because I see the, the, the brick in the background. Now, all of this picture thing was before, him sending me that picture of him smiling, was before I asked him to tell me myself immediately. One day now, he decided to do a Q&A. You know, the Q&A, I asked bare question and him look at something there. So somebody said, ask me if I'm if I'm a girl, I'm saying no, nah, I'm good. Then somebody asked, say, bet you're not brave enough to post your crush. People, tell me why this boy got put up my name in a M in a M Q and A something, and I, he didn't tag me though. He put it up, and I saw it. But by the time I see it and stuff, him did delete it. But he did screenshot it and send it to me just the same. I'm not saying oh, this nigga is crazy. this nigga is crazy and sometimes when i see like when i see the story and i see the stuff like it's like my, my day at work you know like your day at work and you want me a phone to check something and then you see a message and you forget forget go back to it which is what happened to me all the time like that shit happened to me so often yeah, so him delete the q a and him delete the something with my name in it and all of that cool so that's the first q a when he did do. when he first messaged me and i went through his ig like I said, his first video was on was in September, right? His first pic, sorry, was uploaded in September of 2020. He has highlights, and I went through all of his highlights. And through all, when I went through all of his highlights, um, the most recent one was it says 18 weeks ago. Cause you know highlights, that's how it is. But in the highlight itself, there's a you know that little clip when you just post a picture, the date come up. It says so and so 2018. The man of Ireland was in my birthday. Him of Ireland was a Saint Mary. Him of Ireland was a Puerto Rico. So you know, it uh, add up with all that. My boy highlight was a Miss Motors. And those videos, he did send me video at the care where him worked. 
and those videos were in his highlights again all of these highlights started like 18 or 20 weeks ago before we even get there right so in other week you know we, we did them i said to him say yo but that time send me the full body pic i'm not saying anything i say you know what let's video call now me me the fan are skeptical about the video call somebody knew me i really know about it's like them time they made me wear my wig. And listen, as I reach home, as I reach in the car, I take off the wig. The key and roll them underneath them never look good. But I never have business. I say, ah, oh, yeah, you're trying to get for no me and all of them. So now you tell people, say, me and you're this and that and we're not. But like, you're going to meet me in a real life wear. When I take off my wig, I'm going to look like, um, what's your name? A Viola Davis? What's your name? The one part how to get away with murder. Right? That's how I'm going to look. You get me? Annalise Keating. Right? So I'm going to do the video call. All sort of excuse, the same excuse again, but I'm about Android and the Android camera quality not good. This and that, rate it, we're going to do it tomorrow. So from that the time, let me know say I'm not real, because why would you want to do a video call? Two days later, I'm doing next Q&A. So I'm doing the next Q&A now. Um, again, I never saw it. And this is how you know they're crazy, right? He literally screenshot his... Um, question and answer IG thing on this story and send it to me because I you can't you can't see if somebody see a story right now but I didn't see it. He screenshot it and sent it to me. So me didn't, me didn't kind of find him out from early on. So I say yo may I play along. So I send him more picture. I don't even go for Mount Zion go ride some ATV and ride some us. Also guys guys just look out for the adventure place that will come on you know right here in Montego Bay you can ride ATV Horseback riding, zip lining, all of that. Remember, say me first to tell you, you know. All right, so yeah, go up on Mount Zion. So I'm gonna send him one picture. Cool, people. Remember, me tell us, me already know, me already know for us to say, yo, yo, the man yeah, him not real, but me never have nothing concrete. You get me? You know your instinct, you have to trust it. So I send him the picture. Then go do Q and A again. Somebody say ask him again. Say better not brave enough to post your crush slash or your girlfriend. Brother go post up a picture, but he put a pic. He put the, the the response over my face, and you can't see it here. And he never tagged me. Thank God, because if he didn't tag me, that don't do that, right? But remember, I never saw the story. He sent me screenshot of the story. So when he sent me screenshot of that story, he immediately also sent me other screenshots of conversation that he's having with other girls where the girls the people them see the story and they're they're heartbroken quote unquote heartbroken because he has moved on and he has found a girlfriend people me and the man never have no conversation like this right so the this the, the conversation with the girl i'm telling all them go come in now i'm not gonna lie to no right like i said him put up the picture um when in the Q and A, we asked, "Oh, let, let me tell you, put up a picture of your crush," and he posted my pic, and then people started replying to it, and this is what they were saying. Somebody, so Scott, I'm um, sorry, I saw you found a girlfriend. Well, I can't be selfish. I'm happy for you. What am I supposed to do now? It's fine. I am so done with guys. You all made me feel like shit, Scott. I fell in love with you, and I can't help it. You are so different. Of you're different from all the other guys, and that and. And I give you that any woman would love you. You are very God fearing, and all that I can say is that she's lucky. Our next one to go, girlfriend question mark. The person that you just posted, and then the person put congrats with a sad face, right? And then says Scott, you know, you know for a fact that um I liked you. We when we met at Ochi first of all, you told me you were not in the mind space for a relationship, and that is the exact reason why I didn't push. But Scott, say, I honestly really, really like you a lot. And I don't know why I feel so heartbroken to know that you're with somebody else. Sad face, sad face, sad face, sad face. There's literally five sad face right here. The last one when send me now says, Scott, I knew you were down in Jamaica hoeing. Um, I still love you and I'm serious and I will never stop. I can't and won't be able to find someone else like you, Scott. Please, please, say, I'm literally breaking down. And him respond to them and everything and it's there. I mean, I put, you can't read it. So the first thing me do when him send me the screenshot here, I go up on IG and cause that like the IG name for these persons is there. I went on IG and I went to see if these persons were real. And you know, 
as always, you screw going on in the bottom of them picture. You look for the last pic, you're going on them highlights. And I'm just like, yo, these three women, they're Jamaican. They're real. And you know what I'm saying? All right, cool. I'm saying, but I'm just like, why would a woman be acting? Why would be, what would it, why would these women be acting like this? Like, this is one guy. Why would they, why would anybody be so hell-bent on this one guy? And these, these women look good. But you know, some, some girls... Some man plant yam straight down in at them head and them some, so you never can tell. So that was literally the day when I went up to Mount Zion. When he when he sent me those screenshots and he was, he goes, oh my god, my DM is blowing up, it's crazy over here. So I replied, I was just like, so I see, okay. Then he he went and he replied to that and he said so with a question mark and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Wow, what you want me? What you what you want me to do about the facts that these women feel this way about you? Maybe I do not about that. He goes, your reaction is different. You know what? I'm doing too much. I'm gonna delete them. It's all right. That was the end of it. Now listen, he sent me. He before I even go any further, he sent me voice notes. And in the voice note, he has an American accent, right? That still never mean not to me. Why that not mean not to me? Because there are apps out there that can change people's voice. I remember. Me and my friend, they are work, I'm a sit down and I tell her everything and I say to my friend, I say, listen, I don't believe none of this, you know? I don't, I don't believe Sam Sam no loves car. I don't even believe that. And she's just like, yo, but look at his Q&As and look how many followers he have and all of that and whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, anybody can buy followers on Instagram. Anybody can hack into somebody's page and then take over that page as their page and they have more followers. Anybody can do that. Anybody can find an app and change their voice on the app if they want to. Like that you can do that easily. So and she did that said no, but whatever, whatever. Somebody said, alright, cool, you know what? I mean, I no concrete evidence. But like this nigga is crazy. Like I remember telling her, like, this nigga is crazy. She's just like, why you say that? I'm just like, what if I think like I'm crazy? Remember, you know, remember me telling him to say him say the place where Emma do the construction for the warehouse for the cars is in Ochi. Now a good friend of mine hit me up and say, yo, we should go and do an adventure. So I say, yeah. Initially, I was thinking Negril. I hit up another friend, him tell me, say, book out for X, Y, and Z. So I say, you know what? Let's go to St. Mary. I contact this um, guy that I know. I say, yo, all the falls stay. All right, boom. We have got St. Mary. I say, yo, all right, cool. So the day when I was in St. Mary, right? When we were leaving. So that all day, all day I wasn't really by my phone because when I'm driving up where we're gonna have no signal and all of them look at something there. Yeah, so in other day you now, before me even drive it head out to St. Mary, also guys, 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 subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Look out for that video for me when I went to St. Mary with my friends. It's a very, very funny video. And also that same falls we're gonna go and we're gonna take a trip there january 23rd so if you want to be a part of the next trip it's january 23rd saint mary just comment below follow me on instagram shoot me a dm not not like how this guy did but send me a dm if you want to be a part of the trip and let me know all right so in the day now before we drive out at saint mary we did stuff at hilton and whatever we're at hilton and we're there and me check my phone now when people send you dms right you don't have to accept it so they, the, the person not gonna know you read it unless you accept it so me see the dm me see something more say hi i am Rickaria sister um i just wanted to formally introduce myself i literally had to force him to tell me who his new girl is again guys i'm not his girl i don't know what it is. anyways I had to force him to tell me who his girl is um welcome to the family Da, da, da. Then another one, which is from his brother, that says, Hey, um, wow, my bro is really lucky. He really cop a fine ass doc. And I know, well, remember me telling him, say, when, him, when, him, when I did Christmas and him said he couldn't leave, right? Him, him, the day I work, I couldn't leave. His older brother was supposed to come down and take over the place and could I leave, but his brother never come. He had sent me a, a screenshot of the conversation. Those two. IG handles were the same thing, right? So I'm gonna say, all right, cool. So the brother messaged me, somebody else messaged me, they want to say, welcome to the fam. I'm gonna do a screenshot them and send it in at the group with my friend. I'm gonna say, yo, but I'm gonna look here. No, I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna have the time to address this right now, right? Go to St. Mary, build, chill, have a good time, laugh, this, that, come back. So when we leave in St. Mary now, it was like, like 7 p.m. or so. 
because we reach late, right? 7 p.m. We're leaving and we stop at the gas station in Arkabessa. I said pronounce. Forgive me if I may pronounce it wrong. I will stop at the gas station. I'm saying no. I'm gonna message him. So I'm say, hey, you know, I'm actually up here side, you know, like, you know, I'm up here, let's meet up and whatever. Him go to me and say, oh, you know, I told you I can't, I can't leave work. And I, this weekend is not the weekend I cannot leave work. And I, whatever, whatever. So I'm gonna say, where, tell me where the warehouse is. Tell me where you are. I'll come and meet you there. And, you know, X, Y, and Z. Let me tell me, say, um, oh, not tell me nothing. The phone go blank. Bl blank. The phone hang up. Everything. So I'm message him back. Now, people, him have three number. Three. One is an American one, and the American one where him always text me from him usually only text me after four o'clock or five o'clock, which him said when him reach home in a Wi-Fi when it work. I have two other Jamaican one. Him claim say him get one of the Jamaican one because him him, him reactivate the phone and put on WhatsApp on it because him want for when me can reach him in a day, and when me call him, him, him um me can get him right. Again, me not a phone call person, so me don't know who they tell him all of that. Fine. And another one where I'm saying is a work phone. Not one out of the three number them could I get him after me tell him say me in St. Mary, where is the warehouse? Come and we'll meet up. None of them never did that work. So I say, Alright, <laughs> cool. So I message him on the there's something I want him to tell me say the battery dead. So I say, all three of your phone them the battery dead? He say yes. I say, so you can plug it in and come. I say, yeah, whatever. This is where we're gonna be. We're gonna get some food, meet me there. Go. Plantation Smokehouse get food and eat and whatever. When we're leaving Plantation Smokehouse now, he he were on the phone and I message him and he's like, um, I was saying, oh, I'm leaving now, but you know, I really wanted to meet up with you. I wanted to make sure you're not catfish. I'ma send this send the side eye. You know, like that's like my favorite emoji. People, people who tell me if you got said that. Who tell me if you got said that? Big mad, big mad the man said, Oh, you lowest low a a a s f and how could you i knew i knew i was too thirsty i knew i came on too hard i can't believe you think i'm this and that and him block me i'm a no same block me up on the iphone if you don't have somebody named store you're not gonna see their dp dp gone all of the other three number the other two number them block all of the other but mr book clear you know <laughs> Now, people, I know something did off about the guy. I know he was a catfish and all of that.